Hi, and welcome to your morning cup of inspiration. I'm just going to take two minutes, and I hope that you'll stay with me, because I just want to ask this question. Um, as many of you know, uh, I love sports. I'm from Cleveland originally, and you know, once you're in Cleveland and you're born in the sports, you're always a Cleveland fan. My Indians in the World Series last year, the Cavs are, going to a, are working towards another championship series this year. Danny and I go back and forth about Ohio State and Michigan playing football all the time. But my question is, we get so excited and we get so, so we're all amped up, you know, and we're cheering, go, go, go. Do we get the same way in our spiritual life? Are we willing to go out there and put it on the line and be like that as we're trying to win souls for Christ? You know, if we were that excited and had that much enthusiasm, trying to go out and let people know that they need to have a personal experience themselves with Jesus Christ, I think our whole world would change. You know, in 1 Timothy 6.12, it says, Fight the good fight for the true faith. Hold tightly to the eternal life to which God has called you, which you have confessed so well before many witnesses. And that's what we need to continue to do, continue to confess that to many witnesses, to the people that are out there, and they can see the difference in your life and let them know that they can have that same kind of change in their life with a personal relationship with Jesus Christ all their own. Does this make sense? We need to get excited about that. We can't just get excited at football games and basketball games and baseball games and car races. We need to get excited about what God has done to us, what he's put in our lives, and we need to share that with others. I pray that you'll do that today, and I hope that you'll join me again for another morning cup of inspiration. God bless you all, and have a great day.